What's going on Clarity Coders? In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can safely install Python on Windows 11. I've been using it for a while and haven't had any issues. So I'm gonna get you set up so you can follow along with tutorials. First thing I wanna do is open up Command Prompt. I've uninstalled all Python on here. So if you are on Windows 10 or Windows 11 and you're trying to install or f follow a tutorial, you might have run into something like this where you type in pip and it says pip is not recognized or installed or you type in Python and it brings up apps or something else. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna get it on the path so this works correctly. So we can open up a browser and we can go to python.org. We're gonna install Python 3.10 but I'm gonna show you how you can switch to whichever active one you want when you're developing different programs or following along with tutorials. So let's download for Windows Python 3.10-2, which is the current version right now. If you see something else or your new ver newer version or you want an older version, feel free to download that as well. We'll let this download here. All right, now that that's downloaded, we can click on the EXE or you can go to your downloads and find it there as well. One thing I like to take note of here is where it's installing these programs. So a lot of times I'll do a custom installation so I can remember where this is installed. And that's so I can switch versions on the path if I want to for whatever reason. So let's go ahead and do a custom install and I'm gonna click add Python to the path. Now, if you don't do that, I'll show you how you can fix it later, but let's go ahead and check it for now. Custom install, we still want all the defaults here. The only thing I wanted to change is I wanna change the default directory it's installing. It doesn't matter where you pick, but I wanna be able to easily find it. So let's go to the C drive. And then on your C drive, you can create maybe a new folder here. And I like to call mine Python. You can see I already have one because <laughs> that's how I usually set this up. So I will go down to my Python folder and you can see I have one called 3.8 inside of here. So inside of that, let's do one called 3.10 and then we can hit install. Click yes. Now if you have any permissions issues or anything like that, you can install it somewhere else other than the C drive, but assuming you're kind of in this, you probably have administrator privileges and you can install it in that location. So we're gonna go ahead and let it go through this. This may take a little bit of time. And it says it was successful, so we can go ahead and close this. And now if you have a terminal window open, you're gonna to have to close it. And we can reopen a terminal, a command prompt, and we can type in pip. And you can see we now have pip, which allows us to install programs. And we can type in Python, and you can see that we have Python 3.10.2. So now this is all on the path and ready to go for any tutorials for you. I'm gonna show you how you can switch versions real quick. So if you close out of this, you go to search, environmental variables here and then on here I'm going to click on environmental variables and then I'm going to double click on path so you can see when we check that add to path button it added two folders it added our 3.10 python folder and the 3.10 scripts python folder which allows us to use pip so let's pretend either it didn't do that or we wanna use a different version of Python. So I'm gonna delete these. Now it's important that you remember where you installed it, but we do. So we installed it on the C drive. So I'm gonna to go to my C drive into the Python folder. And you can see I have a 3.8 folder as well. So let's pretend we wanted to switch to 3.8. So I can check that, click okay. And you'll see it added this folder. Now remember we gotta add a another folder there as well. So let's go new, let's go browse. We can do this PC, C drive, go down to Python 3.8 and we can also add the scripts folder here. So now we should have everything we need. I'm gonna move this up. I'm gonna hit okay here, okay here, okay here. And now if I open another command prompt, and type in Python, you'll see that I've switched my version of Python to 3.8. So you're, you're probably not gonna always change that, but if you're having issues or you can't figure out why it's not working, 
manually set those path variables and that should fix your issue. You should be up and running on Windows 11 now and able to follow any tutorials or Windows 10 or probably Windows 7. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If not, I'll see you next time. And as always, keep coding.